Hello, I'm Rosemary Nichols McGee from Nichols Garden Nursery in Albany, Oregon. And today we're going to talk about kimchi. Kimchi is the most traditional and most used food in Korea. It is made from cabbage, but in Korea it usually is from the Asian style cabbage until there was a cabbage shortage in 2010. Last fall I was talking to a professor from Korea and asked him if they ever used the European cabbage and he said oh yes especially after the shortage and he said I like it. He said I like the old style just as well but it's nice to have a little difference. So for me using ball head cabbage is what I grow most easily and it's most available in the stores. The method we're going to do today is sort of a summer kimchi and we'll use the European cabbage. There are a couple things that I do that are just a little bit different. One of the reasons this vegetable, this dish is so wonderful is it is full of probiotics something we're all told that we need to, to eat uh, frequently and we want them to uh, be available to us and to our families. So we'll take a cabbage like this and quarter it. I've trimmed off the base. I have removed the outer leaves and I've given it a good rinse just to be extra cautious about how it is handled because this is a raw food. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm quartering this and I'm just going to show you one of the things that is important is to remove that core. So we're going to continue cutting this cabbage into these little squares or rectangles, one to two inches, and then this is going to be salted. and we'll use for this amount of cabbage, both heads chopped, we'll use three tablespoons. One of the steps after you've salted your cabbage, and the salt really is an important ingredient, it acts as a preservative, is you massage this cabbage or you let it sit two hours or overnight with the salt on it and then squeeze it out the next day and drain it and rinse it. Usually they suggest rinsing once. I rinse twice. Once again to lower the salt content. So this so is our cabbage. I have rinsed it pretty thoroughly. Don't worry that your cabbage will have lost all of its salt. It absorbs the salt in the process and this is still rather salty for my taste, but if I'm using it as an accompaniment for rice or some other dish that isn't salted, it would be just about right. Now, the basic ingredients in every kimchi are this pepper, and we sprinkle that on. We have four tablespoons of ground pepper. You can usually get this at an Asian market. And garlic. Garlic is the other element that is always there. Then there are some varieties and I'm just doing this. It can be a paste and I wear gloves when I'm doing this because it can the heat can be a little hard on the hands. So with this another ingredient commonly used is half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of um, minced ginger. And so that goes in and gives it gives it a little bit of a bright flavor. Scallions are often used. Today I had some really nice chives out in the garden, so that's what I'm using. If I had uh, garlic chives, that would be a good choice to use. Uh, other foods are, go into this. Um, let's see, shredded carrot can go in. Uh, a little bit of chopped apple can go in. Um, radish. Uh, there, there are just a whole variety of different ways of making your kimchi. Rice flour is often used in it to give it just a little more, a little more texture. So what we're going to do with this is now this is, this is ready, but it needs to ferment for 
two to three days, maybe longer. And in the summer, I would leave it out overnight, covered, and then put it into the refrigerator, into a glass jar, or, and uh, let it finish fermenting in cooler situation. If your weather's cool, then leave it out, and it'll go a little bit faster. Now, I want to show you kimchi that I made three days ago. It looks just a little bit different now. Ah, with the rubber gloves, I can do this. So it looks a little bit different, and there you go. You can see that things haven't broken down quite as much. The fermentation process has occurred with, with this. This morning, uh, my son made a tortilla with um, eggs and a little bit of cheese and put this into the tortilla and liked it very much, just experimenting. How is it eaten? It's eaten alongside rice. Sometimes it's eaten three meals a day. Rice, maybe a softly cooked egg in, the, in there and a side of this kimchi. Uh, noodle dishes contain it, uh, stir-fried rice. There are a lot of recipes out there, and some of those almost demand that you cook it. But if you cook it, you're going to cook the probiotics. So my preference is to take that hot rice, put it into a dish, and add the egg, and then put this around the edge where it's not going to just cook everything away, and that'll take care of it. I strongly urge you to try this very good, very different food and experiment a little One bit. One thing I did leave out is a teaspoon of sugar and this boosts the fermentation and it's a good thing to add in. And then a couple, oh, maybe half a cup of water in here will also be a little boost. Now, you're leaving this out for a few days, maybe overnight, maybe one, two, three days, but your storage should be refrigeration. Once you start seeing signs of fermentation, which will be some little bubbles and you'll notice a taste difference. And there we have it, kimchi that's almost ready to go.